check out this streaming speech transcription traditional models especially the speech recognition models in streaming face a fundamental problem they need to process audio in real time but they also need context from surrounding words to be accurate most solutions use a buffered approach where they process overlapping chunks of audio which means they are doing the same calculations over and over again for the parts that overlap but not this new nvidia model which is nemotron speech streaming model which we are going to cover in this video so this is a model which nvidia has released Nemotron speech streaming that solves the problem by using a cache system. Think of it just like the model keeping notes about what it just heard. So when new audio comes in, it doesn't have to reanalyze everything from scratch. It just looks at its notes, processes the new stuff, updates its notes, and then moves on. This makes it much much faster and less computationally expensive than traditional approaches and 600 million parameters i think that is just nuts we are going to install it locally and then we will go from there this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member also you can see that we have been covering these nemotron models for quite some time and this new model was just released yesterday in a conference by nvidia and i think nvidia also released some 12 other models which i will be covering one by one so stay tuned but for now let's get it installed i am going to use this ubuntu system i also have a gpu card which let me show you but you don't really need a gpu for this sort of model but if you are looking to rent a gpu on a very very affordable price you can find the link to mast compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of gpus Okay so let's go back and install this thing first we need to install some of the supporting packages so let's do it and now let's install nemo toolkit from nvidia and because that is the preferred way of running this model and if you don't know what nemo is just go to my channel and then just search with nemo and you should be able to find lots of tutorials on nvidia nemo and everything is installed next step all you need to do is to git clone their repo because they have provided a very good script for that for inference i mean which we just saw and the repo is cloned now let's download the model just go to the hugging face card and i will drop the link in video's description in the files tab just right click here and then save link is just save it wherever you want to save on your local system i'm just going to save it here and you can see that the size is just 2.47 gig let's wait for it to get downloaded and the model is downloaded our repo is cloned then all you need to do is to run this example and you can see that i am giving it the path to my model which is locally on my system and then you can just leave everything as is we also need to set the batch size you can also remove it if you don't want to do it let me remove that and now you can simply run it and then you can access it in your browser and the model is now loaded and it is all running on cpu no gpu involved at all let me show you my gpu consumption in real time there you go you see nothing is on the gpu okay so let's access it in the browser and then what it this is what it looks like and you can just click on microphone and start speaking you would have to select your microphone here too so please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot and there you go so it has done wonderfully well here let me talk you through a bit of an architecture in simple words okay so the model is using something called as fast conformer encoder which is basically a neural network that's really good at understanding speech patterns but here is a clever part instead of giving each layer of the network a tiny peek into the future they split the audio into chunks and let each token see everything else in its chunk plus some previous chunks 
This means the first word in a chunk gets to see all the words coming later in that chunk, while the last word doesn't need future context at all. The average look ahead ends up being better than traditional methods which gives you the better accuracy for the same latency. And because they trained it with multiple chunk sizes at once, you can pick your latency at runtime. And if you want faster responses, you can use smaller chunks. And if you need better accuracy, use bigger chunks. Same model, your choice, which is quite interesting in my humble opinion. Also, if you go through their paper, the biggest in innovation which I see is that they made sure training matches deployment exactly. Most models are trained one way with full access to all the audio, then forced to work differently during streaming, which causes accuracy to drop. This model constrains everything during training. Limited left context, limited right context, causal convolutions, and no global normalization. So what it learns is exactly what it experiences when it's running live. They also use something called as hybrid setup with both CTC and RNNT decoders sharing the same encoder, which not only saves you from training two separate models, but actually makes both decoder more accurate. And the result is a model that can handle more simultaneous streams on the same hardware, costs less to run, and doesn't really sacrifice accuracy for speed. And at the end of the day, that is exactly what we want in our model, especially these smallish, you know, sub billion models, especially. And I think NVIDIA has done really wonderfully well here. The model looks pretty pumped up, but I think there are a few things where NVIDIA could improve because currently it is English only. So multilingual support would significantly expand its utility in my opinion. The cache mechanism, while efficient, still requires maintaining state in memory. So for extremely high scale deployments with thousands of concurrent streams, this could become a bottleneck in my experience for the production use case. The chunk aware approach also means there is an inherent trade-off where the first tokens in each chunk get more context than the last one, creating slight inconsistency in confidence across the chunk. Finally, while the hybrid CTC RNNT setup is clever, you still need to choose one decoder at inference time. There is no mechanism to dynamically switch between them or combine their output based on confidence, especially if you're deploying it in production in some sort of pipeline, which could potentially squeeze out additional accuracy in edge cases. But I think all in all, uh, it's a really, really good start of the year uh, where this time in their conference, Nvidia didn't release any consumer GPUs, but 13 models and amazing stuff. So that's it. Let me know what you think about this model. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. And please follow me on X if you're looking for AI updates without any hype, without any fluff. Thank you for all the support.